Hey everyone, welcome to yet another video by WG Productions. And in this video, we will be learning how to make this really cool multicolored gradient face cam animation or four colored gradient face cam animation in After Effects. So the, for the previous video, you guys uh, really liked that video I made for the face cam, and uh, this one uh, was the old version. So uh, this face cam is going to follow a completely different method. This one is going to have so many colors inside it. It's going to look like a hamster stuck its mouth with carrots. So without any further delay, let's get straight to the video. So for this animation, we will jump right into After Effects and uh, select our new composition over here. So this is going to be 1920 by 1080 pixel composition with five seconds. Select OK. Now we are just going to first of all make our, uh, you know, border with a shape layer. So right now uh, we can just go ahead and draw this just like this. So in the contents, uh, you can just go ahead and select this arrow over here and you will find this rectangle path over here for this rectangle path. Uh, let's just uh, unlink this first of all and just write 1280 by 720 so that we have the right 16 ratio 9 proportions for our face cam to be used on Twitch or any other platform. Uh, and for this uh, stroke, I'm just going to go ahead and select 15 over here. So here we go. So this one looks okay. Don't worry about the color because we are going to add a gradient face cam and uh, four color gradient over here. So when you write gradient in the effects and presets, then you can just go ahead and drag and drop this on top of your face cam. So this is going to uh, look something like this. So uh, we are just going to go ahead and animate uh, only one thing over here, which is the points. So let's go at zero second and select all of these points, point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, point 0.4. Feel free to select any color that you like uh, as per your requirements. So once we have selected this, then we are going to go at one second and basically just go ahead and start from over here. Drag this uh, by holding down shift and moving it towards the end of this uh, edge. Then we are going to select this green color over here that we have. And we're going to move it down, move it down just like this. Make sure that they do not uh, mix, uh, these dots do not mix. So that we are going to do the same thing with all of these dots. So you, now you can see that we have uh, switched a few colors over here. The yellow, the yellow one was over here and the pink one was over here. So we are going to rotate these colors four times. Let's go to two seconds and now do the same thing by holding down shift drag these little dots to the edges going at three seconds we can do the same thing over here make sure that they do not mix so this is a repetitive uh, work but this is uh, a really simple animation other than that so just dragging it over here and now we have our final one over here. So at four seconds, you can press U on your keyboard and you can view these keyframes. I'm going to press N on my keyboard to end my composition over here at four seconds. So once I uh, hit the space bar, then you can see that these colors will be uh, animating just like this. So there's, uh, there are a few things that you can change over here. And one of them is this blend. So once we have this blend at 100, you can see that the colors uh, are mixing quite a lot. If we change this to 200, 200, then uh, the colors are uh, going to be uh, mixed within themselves even more. But I'm just going to go ahead and change this blend to 10 so that I can see that uh, these colors are evolving much more. Uh, you know, they have a difference within them. So once I'm happy with this, then I'm just going to go ahead and select all of my keyframes over here and select F9 on my keyboard to easy ease them. Or if your F9 key is playing football in the ground, then you can just right click and select this keyframe assistant and easy ease this just like this. Now you once play this animation one more time. And this is uh, really cool. So a lot of you guys were also asking me uh, how to add uh, some glow on the face cam. So we can also do this uh, over here and this will be something additional. Uh, if you want to do this, then this is uh, good enough. It's going to give you a retro feel. So once we have a right glow over here, installize glow. I'm just going to drag this effect over here. 
So you can see that a little bit of glow has been added over here. I'm just going to go ahead and select the glow radius as 30 to make it a little bit more, uh, you know, just like neon style. Uh, so you can go ahead and uh, duplicate this glow once and you will uh, see a much more, uh, you know, uh, stronger glow. Uh, but just because I've just duplicated this glow effect uh, once, if you want to duplicate it once again, control D, uh, you need, just need to select control D and you are going to uh, have this, but this is too much. So I'm just going to stick with either one or two. I think this is good enough. So yeah, this is going to look uh, really nice over here. If we duplicate this twice, then we can have a stronger effect. So don't worry about these uh, imperfections over here. Uh, you just need to uh, drag the, and drop those uh, pickers that you saw uh, on top of each other. Then hopefully you will resolve this problem. But one, one glow is uh, fine enough. So here you have it. By the way, guys, if you are liking this video so far, then please be sure to leave a like and comment your thoughts. It takes a lot of effort to make these videos. So some support would be really beneficial. And if you found this video helpful, then please be sure to subscribe. So in order to just go ahead and render this uh, animation, we're just going to select this button over here to toggle the transparency gate. This is extremely important because this is a face cam. So you need to have the transparency behind this in the file. Let's just go ahead and export this add to render queue. Select the settings lossless over here. And I usually select quick time for this and select RGB plus alpha. This is important because uh, it's a transparent face cam. So alpha channel is going to be show you the transparency. Okay. And this will be your destination. So once you selected your destination, then you can just go ahead and select render. So guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Inshallah.